One of the biggest drawbacks with peptides is that oftentimes they need to be injected and many people don't like to use needles or they're afraid of injecting peptides to get many of the benefits. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is look at a novel brain enhancing peptide known as Cerebropep, which does have some pretty exciting research to potentially act as an alternative to the famous injectable peptide Cerebrolysin. And so we'll dive deep into Cerebropep which is an orally active capsule form based peptide that does have some impressive potential to improve brain performance. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. And if you've been enjoying these videos, please do like the video and drop a comment down below as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. So you may be wondering now, what is Cerebropep? Now, Cerebropep is a special formulation of a porcine-derived peptide blend, which brings the highest standard in quality and safety to support cognitive health and well-being. Now, similar to other porcine neuropeptides such as Cerebrolysin, which is administered through injection, Cerebropep marks the entrance of an integrative peptide into the neuro and cognitive space without the need to inject. Now, this is obviously a massive drawback with Cerebrolysin. There are many people, you know, many individuals out there that would prefer not to have to inject a nootropic to get the benefits. And so this is where Cerebropep, you know, really shines in that department. Now, Cerebropep, as I mentioned, is a porcine derived peptide blend. In other words, it's a purified peptide blend made from the brains of pigs. Now, don't freak out because the use of pig brain peptides have, has been used for a number of years now. Um, and there is robust research to suggest safety and therapeutic effect by using the brains of pigs. Now, it's similar to one of the most popular new, uh, neuropeptides on the market, as I mentioned, Cerebrolysin. However, as I mentioned before, that Cerebrolysin needs to be injected, whereas this one doesn't. So if you do want to actually purchase Cerebropep, I will be leaving that linked down below in the video description if you want to actually experiment or trial Cerebropep to improve cognitive performance. I'll leave that linked down below. Now you may be wondering, how does Cerebropep actually work? Now, fortunately, this peptide is small enough to penetrate the blood-brain barrier. Now that's obviously a massive drawback with many different substances, whether or not they can actually cross and pass the blood-brain barrier. But the good news is that Cerebropep does have the ability to penetrate the blood-brain barrier, and it's made of growth factors that enhance neurogenesis. Now, many individuals are craving compounds that can increase uh, neurogenesis, which as I mentioned to you guys previously in other videos, neurogenesis can be enhanced through uh, psilocybin, sauna usage, exercise, meditation. All of these powerful brain healing practices actually all work by improving neurogenesis. Now, fortunately, we can see that Cerebropep would target various growth factors within the, within the brain itself. So um, number one is BDNF, number two is GDNF, number two, uh, three is CNTF, and then number four is nerve growth factor, NGF. So BDNF is brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which stimulates the production of a protein that promotes the growth, maturation, and maintenance of nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord. GDNF stands for glial-derived neurotrophic factor, and this gene encodes the GDNF protein, which promotes the survival of certain neurons. CNTF is ciliary neurotrophic factor, um, and this cytokine is found in glial cells in the central and peripheral nervous system, and it stimulates gene expression and cell survival in many neuronal cell types. In addition, nerve growth factor, which many of you probably are familiar with, uh, is, is a gene that supplies instructions for making nerve, nerve growth factor better protein, which is, the, which is key for the development of, and survival of neurons. So by supporting and enhancing neurogenesis via the above growth factors, we're likely going to see very impressive results as far as improving brain performance healing from potentially damaging injuries, which I'll cover shortly. Um, and this is because neurogenesis actually helps to bring back and you know provide the brain with the balance that was once you know lost. So neurogenesis can actually act as a you know recovery mechanism by the brain to actually restore balance, particularly for um, new connections within the brain, uh, protecting healthy brain cell development, repairing any damaged uh, or dysfunctional brain cells, and so as such, brain peptides like Cerebropep can provide both treatments for various diseases as well as enhancing general cognitive performance. Now, this study was really interesting. And basically what it's alluding to is that it's potentially possible that Cerebropep can block the damaging effects of cortisol on your brain. Now, we know that excess cortisol can actually shrink 
parts of the human brain. And we can see that this study here was titled Protective Effect of Pig Brain Polypeptides Against Corticosterone Induced uh, Oxidative Stress, Inflammatory Response, and Apoptosis in PC12 Cells. Now, obviously, this was a cell line study, and whether or not it actually translates to humans is questionable, although it does seem quite promising that these pig brain polypeptides can actually offset the dangers or the deleterious effects of cortisol because we know that cortisol and corticosterone can actually damage and potentially even shrink the brain, which is something that we want to try and uh, offset. So here are the major benefits of Cerebropep. Number one, acting as a neuroprotective agent. Number two, improving brain function. Number three, looking at increasing cognition. And number four, boosting memory and recall. Um, so the benefits of Cerebropep, looking at the first point here, is stemming from its neuroprotective capabilities. Since it increases the various growth factors, which I previously discussed, it can help maintain healthy neuronal balance and neuronal production. Um, which actually could potentially lead to a decreased risk of neurodegenerative diseases and a healthy and you know promote a healthy balanced brain. It also improves brain function. So with the increase in BDNF, you're also able to form new connections in the brain, um, and these new connections lend themselves to improved uh, brain function. The increased cognition in one study, an oral dose of porcine-derived peptide was administered to healthy elderly people. And after just one dose, researchers found that the participants had an increase in relative alpha activity power for up to six hours after treatment. Now, maintaining this alpha wave brain state actually increases focus and cognition. And this is something that we've seen time and time again with the other famous nootropic, L-theanine. Next, we're looking at boosting memory and recall. So studies have been completed in or on people with dementia and Alzheimer's disease. And in clinical trials, people with these conditions were given brain-derived peptides, and researchers found that treatment led to overall improvements in cognitive performance, with effects lasting up to six months after the end of treatment. Um, this implies that the brain peptides were able to repair damaged cells, which leads to long-term stabilization and improvements in brain function. So you may be wondering now who might consider using Cerebropep. Now, the potential applications and uses that I've actually hypothesized and drawn up are number one is recovering from brain damage induced by drugs and illicit substances now i'm referring to compounds and drugs you know street drugs party drugs you know what i'm referring to here um, to actually potentially help repair damage from these particular you know harmful substances number two is slowing brain degeneration so that's through its ability to improve growth factors improving memory performance as an alternative to cerebrolysin injections, correcting neurotransmitter imbalances, reducing brain fog, enhancing mental stamina, and also restoring the ability to dream. Um, this is something that a lot of nerve, uh, neurogenic compounds can do is the uh, restorative effects on the ability to actually recall uh, your dreams. So as far as dosages are concerned, this oral peptide product is gastric stable, which means it's stable in the stomach um, and can actually be taken with or without food. Now, some reports, however, indicate that absorption of supplements, particularly this particular peptide, is better on an empty stomach. So we're looking at uh, one capsule per day on an empty stomach, and the ingredient breakdown is 90 milligrams of this porcine-derived uh, peptide blend. So you will see this linked down below in the video description. Um, and as always, guys, if you do like my channel and support my videos, please do like the video and also drop a comment down below as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.